Hello, Darkman Doll here. I just want to do a video saying uh, Happy Father's Day to all of those fathers out there that are working really hard to put food on the table, and also mainly to the fathers that are actually treating their kids with respect from the beginning of their inception. Um, fathers that are available for their children when they need them, and uh, <clears throat> fathers that are working hard, but yet they find the time and the patience to sit down with their child and share what it is that is going on in that child's world that's important to them. Um, so many people grew up with dads that were either not around or around, but just very abusive in nature. Um, that happens a lot when um, people decide to have a child and they haven't resolved issues that they had with their parents and I know that from personal experience with my parents. Uh, both my mom and my dad have passed. Um, my dad was a very abusive person in so many ways, um, verbally, physically, sexually, all of it. And um, if you had a father like I had growing up, you'd find it hard to forgive as you got older. And I'm not telling anybody to forgive him. I'm just telling you that a lot of times people will feel pressured to chime in with the Happy Father's Day and all that, even though they didn't have a really happy father. Their father was just the opposite. He was like, he was like the Incredible Hulk, but the Incredible Hulk, to some degree, is better than <laughs> better than some angry fathers. Because at least the Incredible Hulk, if you noticed in the TV show from the 1970s with Bill Bixby. <laughs> the Incredible Hulk, he wouldn't just beat people up mindlessly. He would stop when he'd see a little kid. If he's all hulked up, he'd stop. He'd see a little kid and he'd be really kind and gentle or, you know, disabled person. But <clears throat> some fathers have a rage that's beyond belief and mine did. And um, I suffered tremendous trauma from witnessing a lot of the things that he did when I was a kid. I was told to just, you know, <clears throat> see it for what it is and move on. But when people don't experience that kind of trauma, it's really easy for them to say that. So, um, I just want to say that my heart goes out to those dads that definitely take the time out to be with their children <clears throat> and to really care about what they're going through and what they're dealing with. Because if you don't, once they get older, they're not going to want to have anything to do with you. And that's what happened to me with my father. I tried to get in contact with him. Um, I got in contact with him when I was in my early 20s, had my first apartment. And <clears throat> I just it just didn't feel real talking to him. Um, because he was trying to come off as being really nice and kind and stuff and caring about what's going on with me. But the only way that um, he would have con talk to me as if I got in contact with him. So there you go. If I would have never tried to find him, then he wouldn't have, I have never would have heard from him. And then the second time that I talked to him on the phone, and <clears throat> this was years after, um, after that first phone call, um, he's trying to tell me not to, not to give up on my art. And I'm just kind of like, why would you tell me this shit? You've been watching me all these years and looking at my art, and you haven't contacted me in all these fucking years, you know, uh, and now you're telling me this shit, and how the fuck did you even get my phone number? I know how he got it. He got it from one of the sisters I really do not like at all, because she damaged a lot of the children in our family. We had a huge family, family of nine kids. She was just bad, very bad person. So, if you're watching, you know who you're, who I'm talking about. So, um, that kind of, that kind of abuse really changes a person. You know, as a kid, I didn't end up having a childhood because of seeing a lot of traumatic shit. And then I end up later on in life being diagnosed with PTSD. And people use that word so, like, um, casually, that term PTSD, so casually, but it's real. 
<clears throat> it's a real thing. So, um, there's a lot of people that have suffered a lot of severe abuse and trauma, and they don't feel warm and fuzzy towards their whatever um, parental unit that was involved in that. I just don't. So, my heart goes out to all you dads that really care about your children <clears throat> and share it every day and not just one day of the year. So, with that said, thanks for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for the likes and shares, and thank you for your kind comments. Leave your comments down below and let me know if you're a dad and if you're doing all you can to help understand what path your child is on, you know, and help guide them to where they need to be. So, brightest blessings to you all, and I'll see you soon. Thank <laughs> you.